it's episode two of the JIB Talk Show. It's great to have you guys here. How was your week? How has it been so far? Okay, so I got all your comments. I got all your messages. Thank you for sharing your experiences with me. And we're going to move on to more topics about the older woman. So today, what are we going to talk about? <laughs> Hold your breath. We are going to talk about dating the younger man. Ah, yes, yes, yes. It's a real thing. <laughs> it's a real thing. So let's talk about it. Let's talk about dating the younger man. Let's talk about the red flags, dating the younger man, and also stories of your alliances with the younger man. So that's what we're going to talk about today on the JIB Talk Show. <laughs> I've dated younger men, definitely dated younger men. I've dated very rich younger men and I've dated middle-class younger men and the experiences have been great. Yeah, great. So I'm going to tell you all about it and also the things you have to look out for. Let's start, on, let's start with the things you need to look out for. Firstly, social media presence. I don't date men with very active social media presence because I don't want my business out there in public. I already have a following. So let me be the one with the social media baggage. <laughs> Definitely not the man I want to be with. So for me, um, if you're very, very, very active on social media, there is a possibility that you would probably be a troll or you literally just talk anyhow and put our business out there. So it's, it, um, people do not, not everybody has that delicate balance of actually saying a lot without saying anything. And that's what most of us do. We say a lot, but we are not exactly saying anything. And it's a talent. So that delicate balance is something you don't want to compromise with anybody. So social media, very active men, na 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 na. Another thing I look out for is men who have something to lose i can't be with somebody who has nothing to lose <laughs> oh, please no okay he has to have a lot to lose he has to care about his image um he needs to really care about what he's building as a person and all of that because when you date people um who have nothing to lose you, are, you who have nothing to lose there's a lot of stuff they will do to shame you, to embarrass you. And you know, shame is something that people like to throw around when it comes to women, especially older women. So it's a no-no for me. You have to have something to lose. Um, so older women, um, I've had conversations with older women who say, I can't date a younger man. I can't be with a younger man. Well, the truth is a lot of all the older men I'm married. <laughs> so what are you going to do? Um, and I'm not talking about a 10 year gap. We're not talking about 15 year gap. I've heard women who say they can't date someone within the five year gap or three year gap. I think it's just the so um, social constructs of how we have been brought up to believe that he has to be older. The man has to be older. Like wh why must, why must he be older? Okay. So I think you have to give yourself a break. If you find someone you connect with who is slightly younger or even younger, as long as it's not pedophilia, you're not dating a teenager. You're, you're not dating someone who isn't aware of his world. You're dating an adult. If you are 40 something and you're dating a 30 something year old guy, he is well informed. He has technology at his palms. He travels. He is educated. He, he has knowledge. He makes his money. I don't see why that should, I don't see why you can't date him. Unless, of course, there are other situations we, which we're not aware of. Because it's funny. What if you date a 50 year old man and he has no knowledge? He has no new knowledge. And then he wants you to be something you're not ready to be. So um, I think it's okay to hang out with younger men as long as they fall into the category of what you want. Well employed, they make their own money, they have um, self respect. They are not trolling on social media. They're not dropping comments on blogs. You know, things that you are probably afraid of because you don't want your business out there. So I think it's okay to get to know 
a younger man and get to see how it fits into your life and how you fit into his life. So that's my experience. Like I said, I've had really good experiences with um, younger men because I really pick my younger men. I don't like, no, 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 no. I don't do I, my red flags and my red flags. I don't go beyond certain type of behavior when younger men show this. It's like when you come to me, a friend came to me, but not necessarily a friend, an acquaintance. She came to me and was complaining about somebody she dated. And then I went to his profile and I saw that he he participates in so many of these funny, ridiculous challenges, like the pillow challenge. He literally was naked and he had the pillow and the belt. I'm like, but yo, how are you going to date a guy like that and not think maybe it's a bit too much for you as an older woman? I'm not saying there's anything wrong with the guy. I mean, for younger girls, they probably can handle that. It's a generational thing. But if you're a young, if you're an older woman and you're trying to protect your space, your sanity, your peace, you're not going to date a guy who is out there participating in all the different challenges, trolling, dropping comments everywhere, having opinions everywhere, and just you know using his his male privileges everywhere. Because for me, I am already a very strong. Um, brand on facebook so i do know that i don't want to be with somebody who is just like that so for me it's, it's a no-no now how do you um how do you look out for a younger man if you want to date one you can start a conversation if you find someone you like you can start a conversation with the um the younger man the conversation allows you to know if you should even move forward or not the way he talks to you the rapport do you have a connection all of this can happen on whatsapp it can happen on d in your dm it, you know, and if he's not connecting in any way, just d -d 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 let him go. The thing about women, the thing we do that is so funny is you're not connecting with someone, but in your head, you're already building castles of how he's a great guy. He's not a great guy. He's already showing you signs that he's not a great guy. I know guys don't really, they don't necessarily hide who they are for too long, right? But you keep imagining in your head that he's such an amazing person. No, he's not. He's showing you the signs. So as an older woman, I think if you're trying to um, have a conversation with a younger man and he already shows you signs that he's not exactly your type, you just got to let him go. Okay, there's nothing else to build there. And also, when you get to know him and you're talking, maybe you've had your first date or you're getting along, please try not to be his mother. Don't be his aunt. Don't be his older sister. Don't be, you are a woman. And he is a man. I'm just going to keep using 33-year-old, for instance. You are in, maybe you're 42 and he's 33. He's a grown-ass man. You are not his mother. You are trying to be his lover. There's a difference, okay? So please don't mother him. Don't. And if he wants to put you in that position, don't put yourself. It is, it is really annoying. And also, you're not his savior. You're not coming into his world to save him. Okay? He needs to get his shit together just as much as you have. So the idea that, okay, because you're older, maybe you have... Of course, you have more experience in certain things. You can talk about it. But don't come into his life. Don't let him make you a savior. And don't make yourself a savior. You have to learn to be a woman and enjoy whatever it is you want to have with this man regardless of his age and when you date a younger man please try not to act like you just want a jackpot it always kind of shows when women do that like you start being too patronizing in your relationship and all of that you, he didn't win you didn't win a jackpot you're good stuff he's good stuff and you're coming together to have something good so you did not win the jackpot and it's also important to be true to yourself if you're not looking for love don't try to pretend that you're looking for love. Sometimes you're just driven by sex. And girl, that is okay. All right? As long as you're dealing with an adult. If it's just sex you're after, make it very clear. Just be dealing with the right kind of person. Because we don't want to hear your story. We don't, we don't want to read your stories on social media. That thing is so cringy. And I kind of feel like we know the type of men who would go on social media and talk about our business. We know, but so why do you get involved with those kind of brothers? I don't think you should. So if you're looking for sex, make, make it very clear. If you're searching for love, make it very clear. Whatever it is, you're an older woman. You have your shit together. There is no need to pretend like you're a good girl. 
and you are naive and you're so sweet. You could just go out and get what you want as long as you're dealing with the right person. All right. And the red flags you need to watch out for is money. Mm -mm. Now, let's be very clear. Just because you're older does not mean you are his sugar mommy. This is different. What I'm talking, I, I haven't sugar mommied anybody. So I can't even talk about that. I don't give money to men. I can do an entire series about that one because I feel like it is the easiest way to get disrespected by men. And I don't give money to men. You can ask all my exes. <laughs> so it is not sugar mommy. It's not cougar. It's just an older woman being with a younger man. And it's a type of younger man. He has to have his shit together. So for me, red flag is when, if a guy asks you for money, um, because we've heard, we've read all kinds of stories about that, where he comes and he asks you for a 1 million naira, you give in to him. And then there's story, story, story about the business being locked down in Dubai. And then you have to give him 2 million naira to try and get the business back and then emotional uh, manipulations here and there and then before you know it he's owing you 10 million and then he has gone and then you're going to come to social media and start crying and then we're going to be there wearing our eyes and like what well, are you dumb you see that you see the sequence it keeps happening over and over again because women are not talking to themselves so this is me talking to you stop giving him your money it can't be that hard he cannot love you because of your money and what is even the idea what's the idea that older women have more money i don't have money <laughs> okay i have some money but i'm not giving it to you so we've had so many stories where um women with kids they are writing their will for their crush or their boyfriends and giving all the money to men but you have kids to take care of that your priorities are wrong okay so i think you should be confident enough to know that if he, he if he wants you he needs to want you because of who you are because he wants to be there with you if it's going to be tied to money then it's it's the wrong situation you have to be careful about that and lastly before we go um a lot of older women are afraid or they worry that younger men are ashamed to be with them why are you even going to be with somebody who is ashamed to be with you? And then when they try to have this conversation with the younger man, he tells them he's more of a social construct, the cultural nuances that we have in Nigeria and how people feel about that. And then he goes like, uh, maybe if we try falling in love in, in America, maybe we should travel there. Maybe you should take me there so we can fall in love there. You know, all of these things are crap. If he can't love you here, he can't love you there. And people should be with whoever they want to be with. So he needs to be comfortable with you. If he's not comfortable with you, end it, girl. You are good stuff, okay? Never feel like you need the validation of any man to make you feel sexy, beautiful, or wanted. All right? All right. I'll see you next week. Have a great week. Mwah.